religion. Give me that old time religion. It's good enough for me. It was good enough for Jesus. Good enough for Jesus. Good enough for Jesus. It's good enough for me. probably catalog banjo mail order banjo check this out pretty neat just a cheap old banjo uh, you know they made they made banjos like this all the way from probably you know about roughly 1880 all the way up into the uh, up into the 20s I think so they're not they're not particularly uncommon and not particularly worth a whole lot of money just a plain banjo. They, they slapped them together real quick. Y'all might be able to see this was originally a flush fretted banjo. So it had hardwood frets that were smooth with the fingerboard. And uh, as you can see, they were kind of, if you, if you guys can see them, the old flush frets are just ever so slightly off where they should have been. So whoever fretted this instrument more recently Looks like it was fretted a fairly long time ago, but when they did fret it, they uh, corrected um, where those markers, those those flush frets, were in the wrong positions. But really neat old banjo. I like I like this banjo a lot. I had to do some restoration on it. It had no it had tuning pegs, but the tuning pegs that were in it, um, they may have been the original tuning pegs. They were faux ebony. They were some kind of a uh, uh, maybe they were made of cheap poplar or something. I don't know what they were, but uh, a couple of them broke on me. <laughs> um, and when they broke, I could see it was white, hard, uh, hard uh, sort of a softer white hardwood inside. So I think the original tuning pegs is what they were, and they were a, a really cheap fake ebony. And I, I broke uh, one of them, maybe even two of them. I don't remember. Um, so I had to uh, make get some new tuning pegs. These are uh, modern rosewood violin tuners that I put on this thing. Um, there was sort of a nasty crack here, probably from somebody doing something around forcing something in here. So it had a crack in the fingerboard here. So I had to repair that, um, you know, fl make it smooth with, with a really sharp, small chisel. I, I planed that and then glued it and clamped it back together. So that's repaired now. Um, Oh, and the head was busted. This is not the original head. It had a head on it that I don't think was the original head either, but it was upon closer examination when I started cleaning the banjo, the head was broken down here. So I didn't try to repair that head or anything. I just I slapped a new a new uh, head on here. This is calf skin, I think. Um, look at the inside of this banjo. It's got it's it's. I think I think that the the square hardware, these square lugs here, and also. The square nuts that are on the eagle shoes, the eagle brackets, I think that indicates sort of on the earlier end. So that, I'm going ahead and calling this 1880s. Uh, really nice banjo. <laughs> Mountain. I'm gonna 
I just put these strings on there and they're, you know, nylon strings and are, are notorious for taking a long time to settle in. I'm not sure if they stretch or if the knot slides that you make. So, it keeps wanting to slip out of tune on me at, at present. So I'm going to keep this around for a few days at least before I get it back to its owner and see about, make sure that those are that's just new strings settling in because it, it, it is slipping out of tune a little bit, but this is a cheaper instrument. Anyhow, that's, uh, that's all I, want, I need to say about this. I really like it a lot. I like these, these cheap old banjos. There's something to it. And this is, of course, what most, of, most people would have been playing, you know, uh, historically back in, in the 1880s, 1890s, up into the 1920s and even later. Most people would have been playing yeah, sort of a, a, cheap, a cheaper instrument like this. So I really like it. Uh, this is a, a, a walnut tailpiece. I carved a tailpiece for this because it had a, a brass tailpiece with it, but um, that tailpiece kept breaking the nylon strings, so I'm not, I decided not to use it for this instrument. I, I'll put it aside and use it on an instrument with, uh, with metal strings. So I, I carved this black walnut tailpiece for it, and that is, I believe, a rosewood bridge that, that I just had laying around. All right, that's all I want to show on this instrument. Uh, thanks for looking. You'll see me later.